N.W.A. was the first, the first gangster rap group, bold, foul mouth, with a name that offended people. Niggas, Niggas with that attitude. <laughs> and we don't mean it in like the, uh, the type of way, like the bigot type of way. We mean it as in, uh, as, as, we, as we talking to each other, we, I'm gonna be like, niggas, shut up, or something like that. Straight out of Compton. In 1989, their songs about the abuse they endured from police growing up in Compton was different than anything else. But I don't give a f I'll make my snaps. If not from the records, from Jack and a crap, like... And the words they used to describe their life on the streets of Compton was so crude, radio stations and even MTV banned them. What MTV banned in that video, dude. MTV. <laughs> Where? Profanity. Yeah. A lot of people can re you know, relate to profanity. That prof but despite being banned in many places, NWA sold three million copies of their Straight Outta Compton album. Their message that cops abused them when they were growing up hit home with a lot of people. Five white guys walking together are friends. Five black guys walking together is a gang. In the police eyes. You know what I'm saying? And they have you like this and head down and you be on the concrete. Nothing such as this has ever happened in Compton. It doesn't happen. California's politicians were furious that NWA's songs encouraged violence against other blacks, against cops, and they accused them of trying to incite crime. Ice Cube's response to me that day. Somebody wanted to do a crime, they had that mentality there anyway. That it, it, it wasn't our album which turned somebody that was a nice kid into this vicious criminal. What about the you got shot? And in 1989, there was a firm belief from some people about the real motive for the foul, violent songs from N.W.A. I don't think they have black pride. I think they have green pride, and that's all that they're thinking about. This time, Ice Cube and the gang agreed. So you're doing it for the money? Yeah. I mean, all this is for the money. Yeah. We, we ain't gonna do no records, you know that. That's all off, and we think nobody's gonna buy. I see a they created gangster rap. They sold millions of albums. And to their critics, That's the way it goes in the city of Compton, boy. They laughed. Okay. <laughs> it's mad because we're making more money than they are. Our pockets are, we got pockets are full, man.